The Chazal, our sages are teaching us the salvation is depend on how many truthful people we will have before the salvation will begin. If all the people will be speaking the truth, living according to the truth, it will be wonderful. It will be wonderful, smooth salvation. The more people will be honest and speaking the truth and thinking the truth before their salvation, it will make it easier. The less people we're going to have, the harder it's going to be. And with some casualties and a price to pay. And we find that the Gemara says in Masechet Shabbat, Lo charva Yerushalayim, Ela bishvil shepasku mimena anshe amana. You should know that as long as the people of Jerusalem were honest and speaking always the truth and living by the truth, no one could touch the city of Jerusalem even though they were very anxious to destroy it. Once the amount of honest people started to go lower and lower, at one point there was nothing to protect the city. And the destruction of the city is because the people were liars and deceivers. That's really what turned the scale into the negative side. As long as there were people speaking the truth, even though there's other problems, many of problems, but it was enough to protect the place. And also the, the prophet Yeshayah, Isaiah, in chapter 16, verse 5, this is what he says. He says, And he was said about God, He's, The chair of Hashem will be prepared with kindness, bechesed, spoke about chesed, and, and then he will sit on it, be'emet, with the trait that is called honesty, emet. The truth. So we have kindness and truth. The Mesirat Yishari, in Pat to the Just by the Lutzato, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, the Ramchal, chapter 11, this is what he says. By the fact that people will be busy with kindness, with all kinds of acts of kindness and chesed, they're preparing the actual chair to Hashem. When will the king of all kings will be sitting on it? When the people will speak all of them the truth, Hashem wants to sit on this chair forever. And Hashem warned us, many, many warnings about honesty, integrity, and saying the truth. Dabru emet ish el reu, Zachary 8, verse 16. Always speak the truth one to another. Ve'amar, v'uchan bechesed kisev v'yashav alav be'emet, like we said, just say from Isaiah 16. So we find that it's depend very much on what we're going to do when it comes to the truth. Always speak the truth one to another. Ve'amar, v'uchan bechesed kisev v'yashav alav be'emet, like we said, just say from Isaiah 16. So we find that it's depend very much on what we're going to do when it comes to the truth. Jerusalem called the city of the truth, Zachary 8, verse 3. Yerushalayim, ira emet, the world of the emet. So we find that the importance of Yerushalayim is because of the truth. How, many, how important it is. Then the Gemara in Baba Batra, it says like this, page 75. It says, Jerusalem of this world, is not like the Jerusalem of the next world. What does it mean? It says Jerusalem of this world, everyone who wants to go and live there can do it. No one would stop you. You have enough money. Well, today it becomes a very serious mission because the bathroom in Jerusalem already costs like, an like a house in Philadelphia. You know? you know, it's becoming more and more expensive. There'll be days that a tiny, old-fashioned, very ugly, tiny apartments will be costing millions of dollars in Jerusalem. If you have extra money, buy a lot of apartments over there. Soon, you're gonna see, it's already more than doubled in the last four years. It went from one million dollar to two million. From two million to four. There are apartments in Jerusalem and homes, private homes are already worth 30 million dollars. The prices of Manhattan. And it's just the beginning. It's gonna go higher and higher. People will pay 100 million dollars for apartments in Jerusalem. That's what will be. Why? Because close to the end, everyone would understand this, the importance of that city all over the world. You see already the whole world is, wa is wanting it and fighting for it. Even nations that have no history there, like the Arabs, like the Europeans, like the Americans, everyone cares about that city so much. The Muslims, it's not even mentioned in their Quran, Jerusalem, not once. But they go full force after Jerusalem. Why? Because now Hashem is beginning to show the world the importance of his city. But the interesting thing is that the Gemara in Baba Batra say, Yerushalayim shel haolam hazeh, Jerusalem of our world, everyone wants to go there, la'alot l'sham, because it's going all the way up, it's, it's up in the mountain, he can do it, nobody can prevent from you, you want to live there, you live there. But Jerusalem of the next world, not that many can make it there. Only if you're honest and your mouth is clean and you're righteous, etc. Which means, don't take it for granted what you can do right now, but the next Yerushalayim, it's not going to be so simple. 